Question 25, we have a figure on a music box moving in this sort of a pattern from S to P and from Q to R, they move in a semicircle, and from P to Q and from R to S, it moves in a straight line. And we're trying to plot the acceleration as a function of time on this music box. So let's take a look at different segments. We're gonna start with S, R, and P, Q. Now, from R to S and from P to Q, the figure is moving in a straight line, and we know it's moving at a constant speed. Therefore, the acceleration is going to be equal to zero on those two segments. Now, going from Q to R and from S to P, the figure is moving along a semicircle, which means it's going to have a centripetal acceleration that's equal to the, the tangential speed squared divided by the radius. That speed is constant and the radius is constant, which means the centripetal acceleration is also going to be constant and it's going to have a positive number. So again, from R to S and P to Q, the acceleration is going to be equal to zero, and from Q to R and S to P, that centripetal acceleration is going to have a positive constant number. There's only one graph that fits that, and that is graph B.